way because the truth of the matter is in this flesh dwelleth no good thing and I and myself myself Matthew grief I have nothing to offer to you the only thing that I can give you is what Yahweh said because you can't no quotes or cliches that I say no matter how much I hoop and holler that cannot save you it's only the word the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing that of the word of Yahweh this whole fight that you're going through is about your faith. Every, it's not about, no matter what the devil tried to attack, he might have tried to get you through your family or through your car or through your job, but it wasn't about your car. The devil don't want to drive your Honda. All right? It was about your faith. That's why the Bible says, when Yahshua says, welcome, well done, thy good and faithful servant. And Paul says, I have fought the good fight of faith. Without faith, is it impossible to please him? This whole fight, everything you're going through right now is about your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm glad to, uh, to be here. Uh, this is actually one of my first, it's my first time speaking out of my church, so. It's kind of new to me. Yeah. Doing fine, doing fine. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, Yahweh is with me. Yes, he is. Uh, and he's going to do the work. Yes. It's yes, not what I say, but uh, if, if you hear the word of Yahweh, uh, it'll save your word. It'll, it'll save your soul. Yes, mm -hmm. Bless Yahweh. Uh, I want to talk with you for a little bit about the power of praise and the fruit of worship. Could you say that to your neighbor? The power of praise. And the fruit of worship. Say it one more time. The power of praise and the fruit of worship. I need everyone to have a Bible today. If you don't have a Bible, get beside someone that has a Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be doing a lot of reading after our meeting. I'm just going to talk I'm going to talk about what I read because basically that's that's the only thing. My, that's my job. I can't speak for any other preacher, but the word is already here. All I have to do is read it and explain it. All right. All right? All I have to do is make, the Bible said the word is first, what? Simple, simple and peaceable. Right? So all I have to do is read it and explain it, and that's the plan here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought if I could just turn with me. I'm going to read two scriptures, two set of scriptures. The first one being in. I want you to keep a hand in Genesis. And I want you to keep a, a finger in Galatians. It's funny how a man would try and say that a man made up the Bible. But when I read the Bible, I say, I, ain't nobody that smart. And, and, ain't nobody that wise to be making up no Bible. Not the one I'm reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh's word is so perfect and it's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. That's why I read the word, to be honest. I stay in the word because when the devil's trying to take your life, what, what you got to understand is that even though you... You have power in your praise. What you have to understand is that your word is the only defense. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You guys with me? Hallelujah. What you have to understand is that your word, the word of Yahweh is your defense. The Bible says, take unto you the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. The word of Yahweh is sharp and it's powerful and it's quicker than any, it's quicker and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Bless Yahweh. I'm going to start from Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to jump in and there. I'm 
going to start from Genesis chapter 1, but I'm going to read first from verses 9 to 13, and I'm going to read from verses 24 to 28, and then I'm going to probably read Genesis chapter 2 in its entirety. Verses 9, and it, of course, uh, you know, the, in, in, in Genesis is talking about the creation, Yahweh creating the world. But the Bible says in Genesis chapter 9, Yahweh said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And Yahweh called the dry land earth, and earth, and then gathering together of the waters called he seas. And Yahweh saw that it was good. And Yahweh said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb, yielding seed and fruit, tree yield tart, and, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after, after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and Yah saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Verse 24. Let the earth bring forth living creature. And Yahweh said, Let the earth bring forth living creature after its kind, Cav cattle, creeping thing, and beast of the earth after its kind. And Yahweh made the beast of the earth his kind and and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and Yahweh saw that it was good. And Yahweh said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and, that the, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over the earth, all the earth, and over everything creeping, every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So Yahweh created man in his image, in the image of Yahweh created he him, male and female created he them. And Yahweh blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing, every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. Hallelujah. <coughs> if you just skip with me. So verse 5 of Genesis chapter uh, of Genesis chapter 2. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for Yahweh had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. And there was not a man to till the ground, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and Yahweh formed man from the dust and of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and became a living soul. Let's shout. I'm going to talk a little bit about worship. 